Hi, well, thanks for trying us to help you with <laughs> trying to find free money to live on while you go back to school. Uh, it's, it's, uh, I got a couple hundred sources in here for you. Uh, it's all the federal, state, and nonprofit organizations, and uh, websites, and crowdsourcing, and all this kind of stuff. New ways that people aren't uh, really telling you about, and, and the experts won't know because they're not making money off this stuff. That's the problem with the use Google and stuff like that. You're going to find stuff that people are making money from it. These are all sources where <laughs> you're not going to be charged anything, you know, to use them and, and get the money from these sources. And instead. Uh, okay, I have a table of contents here, and the introduction video, which you're watching now, then the, the city count, state, state programs, and then uh, 211, that's a local free help for anything, and then the top 25 programs for your state, and then videos for each one of those programs, and, and then what you don't know about paying for college, and uh, the student loan debt I cover, and that's not all. Here, let's see, go to the next page. Government programs to to help making extra money while you take classes or crowdfunding. You know, why crowdfunding is better than grants and how crowdfunding can be used to help create a job when you graduate or crowdfunding for tuition, crowdfunding for uh, health care bills, and also the sh shared economy. These are uh, loans, actually, peer-to-peer -peer loans that are better, cheaper, faster than banks. Uh, and also how to use the gig economy. This is um, uh, it's it's like peer-to-peer -peer and shared economy. How people pay you extra money. I, I think you're driving for Uber. That's just one of many like that, and that's really the growth in our area now. Uh, and then where to go to get free research help when you don't want me to charge you money? <laughs> There's other people who do some similar things, you know, but they'll do it for free. So it's an option, and you may want to try that. Okay, in your county, first of all, if you if you have a mortgage, your rent, or whatever, uh, and money to fix up your house, we're talking about housing here. These are the sources. Like if you have a mortgage here, here's where to go. There's a lot of government programs now that give you a better mortgage rate because so many people lost their houses, you know, in, in uh, you know, in the market crashed and everything. Like that. So there's a lot of government programs. You call this 800 number, talk to them about your mortgage, and see if you get a better deal because that's what's available. And there's a, a video. Uh, that will tell you about that service there too. And also your state housing authority. Every state has, that's the best place to start for getting money to buy, fix up houses, a nonprofit. You see all those programs, I list them all there, all the options that are there. You wanna check that out because if you have an old um, mortgage or even a new one that you're getting screwed on, you <laughs> may be a way to get there without going to somebody who's gonna charge you money. See, these people do the evaluation for you, you know, for free. Now here's another place you want to go is the financial counselor. These are free people. You know, if you have a mortgage, you don't, you have a house, your rent or whatever, you know, help you with your, your finances, you know, and they're not going to charge anything that they, they don't have, they're not going to upsell you, you know, and they're not there to sell you money like your broker or <laughs> real estate people are, you know, to do. So this is a good place. There's a listing here of the people in the Baltimore area that will sit down and help you, you know, if you have debt problems, all those kinds of things. And there are a couple of videos here of people in the area, you know, that I've interviewed that provide these services. So you may want to look at those. Uh, here's money programs to fix up a home, you know, in your state. Here's money programs to fix up a home from your city. So if you have a, uh, you need uh, homes or even buy homes, here's weatherization, $6,500 to weatherize your home, $5,000 for heating bills, weatherization, home energy repairs. See, I mean, this is, you're not going to, the bank's not going to tell you about these things because they're not making money. Here's five Baltimore programs offer $10,000 down payment and closing costs. There's five different programs here. Yeah. So that's why you, you got to dig out these things. Uh, I heard just on your water bill. I found this by accident, you know, just doing the research on 39% discount if you're a senior on your water bill. I don't think you're a senior yet, but you may know somebody in your family. Well, here's health care. I mean, you may or may not have a program, you know, in Obamacare or whatever. Uh, and even if you do, it may not pay for everything. These are ways to get other health care paid for that you're not covered. You know, and even dental care, free discount dental care in Maryland. That's a list of the people who play sliding scale because you pay a couple thousand dollars for stuff. 
stuff, you know, and so if you, you, you pay half of that, it would be great. Local healthcare clinics that provide dental and health for, for free or sliding scale. So these are options you have to, because you go to your friends or doctors or whatever, and you're going to pay top dollar. Oh, we're going to give you a break. But these are the people who get grant money to help give you a break. Now, here's also 147 hospitals that have to treat you for free, right? They treat you for free. <laughs> Nobody knows about it. So that's why if you need hospital care, you know, see what one of these are in your area, because then you can get them for free. Uh, also, prescription drugs. A lot of them, even though you, a lot of us, even though you have programs, you know, health care coverage and your cover prescription, but it may be too big. You know, you know, <laughs> they pay the first dollar or something, and you have to pay the next thousand. You know, uh, so and here's a video of a woman use these free programs. That's available all over the country. It's by drug companies, and every drug company is different and things like that. Uh, here's free and low cost health dental services and health care services in your county. See, actually, your county is a good place to start. You know, so Baltimore County, and here's a video of uh, where I live. Of, uh, Montgomery County, you know, of the people who run that and all the free services that they have. So you're looking for what's available for you for free health care. That's really a good place to start. And for your dogs and cats, hey, how about free new spade and neutering for 20 bucks? <laughs> That's not my thought. That's pretty neat. Uh, legal help. There's all kind of uh, volunteer legal help and things like this you may need. Uh, and and that's, these are sources here. Go to the, the that link there shows you where to get free legal help. And don't forget, a lot of people that, uh, that maybe screw you over in the life that you need free legal help, you go to the, the uh, agency that regulates them. You know, your insurance company doesn't pay a claim or, or something like that. You know, uh, your accountant even screws you over. See, they're all regulated. You could go to your state capital, call 211 and ask for the regulatory agency for, uh, for that profession. And that's how you get it, you know, because they have oversight. They can put the people out of business. So use that also. Okay, free home and gardening and personal finance and consulting. People forget about this. The, the uh, Co County Cooperative Extension Service, they help with personal finances. And also gardeners, they'll get rid of, you know, <laughs> the, the, the moles in your backyard garden whatever and they help you with that too but they also have finances there's a video here I, uh, who explains the kind of services they actually sit down they get volunteers to help you with your debt problems call your you know and make out new arrangements your creditors and things like that and that lady explains all that that they do for them don't forget if you're a victim of crime you get up to twenty five thousand dollars you know because of lost wages you broke your glasses you got hurt all this kind of stuff people don't really know that and there's money set aside they get grant money you know, to give it to victims of crime. And the police may not tell you about that. Now here, the, what Maryland has is something, money for tough times. And here's links to that. Like they have the programs here, temporary cash assistance, temporary disability assistance, purchase of care, $2,000 to help pay utility bills, medical assistance, food supplement, emergency assistance. All these programs are there at your state government. Uh, burial assistance even, <laughs> uh, that you may not know about or your friends and, and relatives relatives or whatever. There's a link there to find out more about it. Now here's interesting, up to $30,000 for people with disability to buy vans or computers or, or scooters. So if you or a loved one or something have, have a disability and you need a van so you get a lift and things like that, there's special money set aside to help you buy that. Every state has that and that's the one for their... Uh, there's an interesting program. That's a new one at, at, at uh, Baltimore. Is two thousand dollars to train to be an event planter or to get a hospitality job? They're trying to uh, you know grow the hospitality business. You know bars, restaurants, hotels, and stuff like that. So if you want to take a training program and getting one like that, you know this is what that's money for. And this is grant money you don't have to pay back. Also. Uh, Here's an interesting thing, too, that they have. If you have trouble paying your property taxes, okay, they have a program filled out for that. So you're hurting for dough or something like that. You call this office up, hey, I can't pay all my property taxes, and they work with you on that. Uh, also, here's an interesting tax refund for homeowners. That's right. At certain incomes, you know, you could get up to, you know, uh, I don't know, $700, $800 back on, on your uh, mortgage or another $750 back on your property or, or your rental and all these are even on your taxes. See, there's refunds there. Now, some of these are income oriented, so you check them out here. Uh, here's $25,000 to fix up your business. You're in Baltimore, you got a business, there's $25, 25000 that's a grant to fix up your, your business or $30,000 for a microloan 
for uh, funding an existing or startup business. Now, I mean, there's a whole a bunch of other programs for business that we'll talk about in another report I'm going to send you, but I just thought I'd, I'd put them in here. Now, here's an interesting thing that people really don't know. It's a 211. This is a hotline. You could call or go on their website and, and, and search, but it's better to call because they know the database better than you and I could ever do it. But look at the thing. This is all the nonprofits and, and, and all the government offices that give away services and money and help for free. See, if you go to Google, you'll never find any of these places because <laughs> Google will tell you the people who are going to charge money because the people who are charging you money for this uh, will pay money to make sure that they're on the first page in Google. So that means they push these people off. They'll never be there and you'll never see them. And I did some uh, uh, practice searches here. You see 296 programs of nonprofit organizations that offer financial assistance. Wow, 296 programs. Here's 25 programs that offer home rehabilitation, repair, loans, and grants. Job training, 74 you know, programs that offer that. I mean, it may take a while to go through, contact them, see what they have, but man, it's better than wasting hours and hours in front of the computer screen thinking you'll find something in uh, uh, searching Google when you never will because you don't know what questions to ask, but when you talk to these people who are in the program, they'll tell you. That's why anytime you contact any of these offices and they do, really don't help you directly, what you want to do is say, hey, ask, who else do you think will have that? That's the way you really find something. In other words, the stuff I do is really show, getting you on the right path. You, these may or may not work, but they'll lead you something to work if you, if you, you know, you know, just squeeze it out of them. That's what you have to do. That's what I find researching is all about, is you take your best shot at it and go at it, and then that leads you to something you could never think of, you could never, you know, find or whatever, and that's how you run into the good stuff by accident. Now, here are banks that give you, you know, uh, grant money to save. That's right. So if you put in a dollar, they'll put in an extra five dollars or something for your savings account. There's a couple in Maryland. Check them out if you're eligible or whatever. It is a wonderful program that people aren't aware of. Now, here's the 25 grants and free services for Maryland. So this is everything. The money to pay your... Um, your kids' health care, the money to pay your phone bill, uh, money that, that's, that you didn't collect that they're waiting for, money for groceries, all this kind of stuff. Train for a new job, unclaimed money, uh, um, child support you didn't collect, money for seniors that they're just sitting there. You know, so hundreds of tens of millions of seniors don't even pay for this. Uh, free treatment by the best doctors in the world. So the, these 25 programs are all described there briefly. And then after this list of 25, I have videos on each one of those. So I describe each one. So there's one there that you think that is interesting. Hey, that may be for me. You want to look at the video, then contact them directly to make sure you know how to get there. Now, some of them have income requirements. Some have no income requirements. I mean, millionaires are eligible for this, some of this stuff too. So you, that's why it, it, you got to know it. Now here I, I have a bunch of video instructions about things about paying for college you never knew about. You know, like here, at your state, you know, the state has a dozen or so programs that will give you $1,000 to $30,000 for people going to college. And I have another video later that will show you that people don't even apply for. There's $17 million in the last year or so that were that was sitting there that people didn't apply for. $17 million. Imagine how many students didn't go. Actually, I have a scholarship at, at the Frederick Community College, and they didn't even give all that out. I don't know. I said, why are you doing Why are you sitting on it? It's just bureaucracy. You know, that's why you got to, the college you're at, you go to the financial aid office, beat on them, make sure you got everything there that they know about or even don't know about. You have to, you know, get in front of them. Don't, don't rely on the internet. The, re the internet is just a way to, to find out where this may be. And then when you get there, then you have to drag it out of people. I think getting the good information is still a people's game. You got to know. Now, here's another video. I'll tell you why, why uh, uh, a Harvard degree isn't worth it. And it's a study, a longitude study. After 30 years of people graduated and what happened to them, depending on what college. And, and the, the type of college where they had no dependent on, on their happiness or financial security or, <laughs> or anything. So it's interesting to know because so many people, you know, try, oh, I got to get in the, one of these five colleges or my life is going to be, you know, 
and it really doesn't pan out that way. I stop paying for college application fees. There's a way because that, that's like 50 bucks a pop sometimes, and there's a way around that. Uh, or, or if you really want to put a, be a snob and have Harvard on your resume, here's a way to do it. For like $100, you could take an online course, an accredited college online course that doesn't require an SAT or whatever. That's Harvard University. <laughs> and you take it online, and you get it. And now on your resume, yes, I went to University of Maryland. I went to Harvard, blah, yada, yada, yada. Okay, free college tuition if you go to Starbucks. That's right. They're offering free college tuition. That's right. At the University of Arizona. And you could go to the University of Arizona. I have another video here later. It's only like ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000 a year. Man, it's terrific. You know, uh, and that way you don't get into all that. The biggest problem with, uh, with going to school in our country is that college debt, man. That's ruined the whole country. Uh, that's a biased opinion, of course. Uh, now, here's a wonderful program. This is a free university. It's absolutely free. It's accredited. Uh, they give degrees in uh, business management. They give degrees in IT and healthcare. Wow. And this guy, I have an interview here with them. A wonderful fellow. They're accredited. Like they're hooked up with Berkeley. All famous people are, are educators are involved with this. They're trying to really change, you know, um, the equation on higher education and actually even they promise jobs after. So take a look at that if you haven't finished your degree yet. And I think that's the most important, you know, uh, opportunity in higher education I've seen in a long time. Now, here's something else people don't realize. Download this video ebook because this shows you how to go to Europe for a fraction of what it would cost here. Now, it may not be possible if somebody raising a family here and things like that. But you could go to Europe, the best countries in the world, as an American citizen, only speaking English, and, and only be charged like $1,000 a, a semester. Wow. They're charging twenty thousand dollars or whatever. I mean, it's stupid, you know. Uh, and so, find out there. There's like thirteen thousand programs, universities all over Europe, all in English. Learn about that as an option. And graduate school, that may even, you know, be more interesting for you to do that in the graduate school. So, there's another program you could download uh, for me. Uh, for, uh, yeah, so download that ebook on graduate school. So, how to get a master's degree with with zero student debt? Wow, you know, I mean, you have to. So you have to a couple of plane fares back and forth. They got to go a long way to spend forty thousand dollars on plane fare. Anyway, can get, and I think you know having a degree from uh, in Europe, man, boy, that sort of gives you a little cachet when you're going looking for a job. Here's another website that just concentrate on getting money for college. Okay, the secret of getting ten thousand, fifty thousand dollar discount on your tuition. This is how to become a state resident in all the states. So you avoid the out of resident thing. Now here's a something you could pay for in your state department of labor. You could get either training money or even pay for your last year of college with your training skills. I mean with the training money. That's a grant money uh, to get trained for a better job. So if it costs maybe a, a year at college or a half a year at college just to finish college, they'll pay for that too. Bureaucrats need your help making government. Oh, this is why I talk about the $17 million. This has happened in Maryland, so that's important for you. Get a four-year degree over $10,000. A lot of a lot of major universities are doing this, and, and I think it'll be cheaper and cheaper. Five, one thing not to do is go to a for-profit university or college. I mean, I, I, I think that's terrible. Of course, I'm biased, and other people may say something else, but they live on you getting a loan from the government. 80, 90% of their money comes from you getting a loan. You get stuck with a the loan. They got the money and what the hell do you get now um, and it's it's dubious what they get they spend the least amount of money than anybody else does on higher education so if you go to a, uh, <clears throat> a junior community college or a public college private college they're spending you know thousands of times more uh, on their education than a for private school for private spends all their money on on marketing and making sure that you're their friend. Okay, what are you gonna do with college debt? Okay, I showed the process here. You could go, if you have college debt, you could, depending on your income, this is an income related program now, you could only have to pay like $5 a month. Yeah, <laughs> and only for like uh, 10 or 20 years or something like that. And if you don't have pay it all off by then, uh, they forgive the rest of it. So there's deals like this. Don't go on the internet. You're gonna search the internet for this. You're gonna get people who are gonna charge you money for things that you could do for free. And actually, in the beginning of this program, it shows you something from the, that the government says. You do not have to hire any. Beware. Companies may contact you to offer help with your student loan programs for a free. Remember, you never have to pay for help with your student loans, okay? You know, 
so see, even if you think the government's wrong, it's worth trying this first, okay? So don't go on government, I mean, on uh, uh, Google or whatever and find some. Okay, get your student loans. Uh, when the college lied to you, there's a new way to use a law, a new law that people are taking advantage of and don't have to pay their student loans because the, the college got you in there overinflating what the hell they do. Four million, pay, uh, million won't have to pay student loans. This is a new program from the uh, White House. You want to check out on that. Government money programs help you making money, extra money while taking classes. Okay, that's it, remember? <laughs> and this isn't the work study program, this is other stuff. You go to your local department of one-stop labor and get um, extra money to get a skill. Maybe you want to become a truck driver. They make a lot of money. Maybe you do it part time. You know, something like that. And, and or a massage therapist. That's another way. Maybe as a flexible job to do that. Okay, free consulting for anybody. Now, anytime you you're doing becoming a freelancer or something like that, and, and, and you don't know about paying taxes, you don't know about legalese, you don't know about insurance, you don't know about laws, or you don't know about marketing. This is an office that will do all that stuff for you for free. That's right. Everything. Or even if you want to start your own nonprofit or a little business or whatever. They help you with all that technical work, technology work or whatever. Okay, also crowdfunding. People don't realize the importance of crowdfunding. I mean, this is the newest thing in the world. Uh, they're giving more money now on crowdfunding to artists than the government does. Uh, there's something like $34 billion given out to the businesses. You could use it for anything. You know, it's free. That's what's saying. There's no income requirements, no credit check. You keep the money forever. No complicated forms. It's very fast. You know, you get rid of the fat cat gatekeepers. It's the crowds, you know. That, that you know that give you the money, so you don't have to put your hand your hand to some banker or some bureaucrat or whatever, so, uh, trying to convince them that this is a good idea because the crowd tells you. That's why women are actually making more money or getting more money from crowdfunding than men are because see half the people who are giving money on the internet are women. You go to the bank, it's mostly men. You go to venture capital, it's mostly men. So, so, so that's why women are, are killing this thing. Okay, now here's a bunch of examples of women and men who, who used, while they were in college, they figured out crowdfunding and created careers upon graduation. And even while they're in school, the one kid, the first time, thing I have up here is somebody who had to quit their, who just quit taking classes because he was making too much money in his dorm room, <laughs> you know, with, with crowdfunding. Other people that, you know, figured it out and as and soon as the first time out of college was able to start a job. There's a guy, two courses at community college and, and got him $130,000 on the internet for a new career. You know, it, it's so many ways. And these are interviews that I've done to these people, people who, who were, you know, had to study, couldn't, you know, during an exam, and he was making like $20,000 at the same time. I said, why am I studying this exam for? To go out and make money, you know, I'm making it right now. So that's, that's what's important about it. And it democratizes this, this um, subject or whatever and get rid of gatekeepers. Um, so those interviews would be fun to see. And even people go on crowdfunding and just raise money for tuition, not to start a business or anything. I got samples of that here. Or how about health expenses? This is what's a big thing in our lives now, or health. The biggest reason why people are going bankrupt is because of healthcare expenses. So people go on the internet you know, and, and raising money for that. Here, the, the, this, this couple was in you know, dead over their head and, and uh, cancer took everything, they lost his job and everything. So went on the internet and, and raised $60,000 because that. Here, dad couldn't work, needs a transplant, so mom gets $45,000 on the internet. You know, and that's it. And, and this lady, I mean, this is how, how this can be used to be a superhero. You could use this to solve problems in your community. This woman was driving down the street and there was an accident in front of her. You know, she stops and it was a bad accident. This fellow flew out of the car and whatever was down. Yeah, and she went over to hold him while the ambulance was coming and his hand was across the field. So he lost his hand. You know, and, and she held this guy till the ambulance got there. She went back home and raised, look at that, $75,000 on the internet for him to get a, a new hand. Even Obama. You know, it was trying to get money for the refugees, and the you know Congress wouldn't give it to him. So he went on the internet, you know, and raised millions of dollars for the restaurant uh, 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 <laughs> because he couldn't get Congress to agree to. Okay, peer-to-peer -peer loans. They're cheaper than banks. They're easier. You know, check this out. You know, the Lending Club and Prosper, the two big ones. Uh, 
the other ones are, uh, this is community banks. That's another better place to, to get money too than traditional banks because they're, they're more interested. These are other peer-to-peer -peer lending things. This is money uh, for uh, cheap loans for college grads, another one uh, for money that people wouldn't give it anywhere. There's a bunch of other things just for business, but this could be used for anything. Okay, now remember the peer-to-peer -peer economy. This is what's really going on in our country now. We're creating the jobs we're creating is not so much, you know, from businesses creating, you know, traditional jobs. It, it's for non-traditional businesses creating non-traditional jobs. I mean, I, I think you you drive for Uber or have. I mean, look, Uber is worth about fifty billion dollars now. They only have two thousand employees, but there's a million people like you making money from it. Yeah, you know? but that's not only Uber. There's so many places like that. You know, like I make money from uh, Airbnb. You know, and it's very easy for me to do that. Uber plans on hiring a million women drivers over the next five years. Upwork, this is a place where you get jobs, gigs on the internet. They do over three million jobs a year worth a billion dollars. Guru.com, another one. They, they, they gave out work to a million people uh, a year. And it's everything. See, what's neat about this stuff is you don't need credentials or degrees. I mean, uh, and there's no fancy resumes. There's no boss, no schedule. Work when you want. Work only for the salary you want. The website takes your credit card, you know, from the people who are going to pay you so you know you're going to get paid. The insurance is provided by the website. I mean, all these things that you thought you had were com complicated, you know, in, in starting a freelance business or anything. Now the platform takes care of that and you don't have to get pay money to be on these platforms. You give them a little percentage when you get some cash from people who pay you. Okay, I got a bunch of videos uh, and links here from TaskRabbit, GigWalk, Handy. You like doing stuff for other people? Man, put your stuff on Handy. On Care.com, you like being a dog walker or, or caring for people? Put there. People you know, are looking there. there are millions of people are coming there all the time looking for uh, people to give money to and to help them. So if you're there, man, you get the money. You know? and, and that's the what it is. Instead of you going out and banging around. Here's another one of a Kind jobs, uh, Instacart, you know, Postmates, Bellhops, you know, uh, just all because dog vacay. That's right. So you can make thirty thousand dollars just because you like dogs. I mean, you have two, three dogs in your apartment. You know, wow. Where else are you going to do that? It's not even a full-time job taking care of a dog. You know, or, or pets. I mean, pet business is a big boom, booming business. You know, here make money in your home or boat. Or, uh, here rent your boat if you have one. You can have dinner. You make dinner with people. Lift, really rides, get around. Look at the Zoom rides. So many places that are have you get rid of your clothes, clothes you're not using anymore. You know, uh, all this kind of stuff is worth money to you now. Uh, money from other people's stuff, eBay. You know, uh, Yurtle. This is where you transfer stuff. Web thrift store, nonprofit organizations. Now your nonprofit organization got a thrift store. Then somebody could put this stuff online and, and you get the money. You know, that that's amazing. I mean, you have your own thrift store without spending a, spending a nickel to have it. Your parking space will make money. Roofs, you store stuff for other people. Look at, you know, all these storage places. Well, wow, you can use your basement and make a couple hundred bucks a month, you know, from that. Now, here, here's an organization, peers.org, uh, that evaluates a lot of these. They don't have them all, but they have a lot of the major ones. And it's interesting, if you're not familiar with this, to go on this website and they see, they tell you the average people make, what it really costs to do it, and things like this. So they're co compiling data from people who use it. And these are some extra things I have. How to make money by having people over for dinner. Uh, auto repair, 40% off. Or, or you like to fix cars, you make money like that. You have extra room in a uh, place with land, you rent that out to campers. You know? uh, here you run around uh, your neighborhood taking pictures of something for somebody else in another town. You know, there's just so many ways like this you know, to have, uh, to make extra money on pet lovers. There's that one there we're talking about. Uh, share anything. You know, free Wi-Fi, you know, because you're sharing it. Or, or start your own store for 20 cents. You know, you have a bicycle you're not using. Man, this guy I, I interviewed, he, he, he made enough money out of renting his bike to buy eight more bicycles. So, uh, it, it's amazing. There's so many little businesses and, and ways to make money at home. Now, here at the end, at the end here, I have three places to contact when you need more help. Okay, uh, for anything, 
you know, and this is other places. Remember, this is a video here to tell you why you have to be careful when you're using Google. It's fine if you want to spend money. If you if you don't want to not spend money, you don't want to use Google unless you know exactly what you're looking for. You know, if you the name, like your name, you know this organization does that, and you got to find it, then that's okay. You know, but if you're looking, you know, where do I get free help to do something? You're not going to get it. You're going to get people selling your stuff because that's the way. It, it works. 211.org, I showed you expert. Don't forget your local public library. Man, they're terrific. You know, they have researchers that do all this. They know the local communities. They, they you know, what's available locally. You, you need money for something, and then that's what they're there for. You want to know about local scholarships? That's what they're there for. You know, they've asked that for. And here, I even show you about a lot of these local libraries now. Well, even if you don't know how to use the internet, you come in and they'll put, you know, help you set up your, your SD account or something like that, or your elected official. Man, this is a, uh, a source that people don't realize. Now I put all your elected officials there. So if you have trouble finding something, you need help, you need emergency money, you need a scholarship or whatever, call them. They're there to help you. And I have a little video that shows you why they're there. Because see, if it's easy for them. They have a back door to every bureaucratic office that gives out money and help. And they could call that back door and get an instant answer for you. You know, you have to wait in the front door. I have to wait in the front door, right? So they're going to get it faster and they know where it is because they do it all the time. And what's going to happen is if they get you the money, you'll vote for that son of a gun no matter what they do. This is how they stay in business forever. <laughs> they get reelected no matter what the hell they do <laughs> because they're piling up favors like this because they have the most power to do that <laughs> so if anything you learned in this you know is use those bloody elected officials you know the fat cats are and you're you have just as much voting power as any fat cat does and you live in the neighborhood